wake up and see the world as it truly is. See what you are. One of billions running around this place with a heart that beats and a handful of potential. You're owed nothing. You're not entitled to anything. Essentially, you, just like everyone else, was given a canvas and a blank page. If you want to do something, change something, make something of yourself, you have the tools. You've always had them. We all have. That's what makes success such a curious thing. Why is it that some people maintain that winning mentality? They expect greatness out of everything they do. And others have the opposite mentality. They see greatness as a far off thing. Like something you see in the window of a store, something to just look at, to dream about, not realistic. Why? We all know the formula. Sacrifice and working hard enough at anything, it will get you results. You'll make progress. The problem is belief. People see greatness as something other than themselves, something beyond them, beyond their capabilities. The thought is not entertained. Look, where you are now, where you have been, it has no impact on where you can go, on what can happen in the future. The possibility of something better is always, always there. Earlier today, I came across an interview with Will Smith. I'm listening to it and I almost jumped up and down. This guy describes success better than anyone I've ever heard. Two things, very simple. One, he believed in himself. As a kid, he always knew that where he was was temporary. It did not define him. It was part of a journey to something better. Two, he outworked everyone around him. He was never the most talented or gifted, but he molded the talent he did have into skill, into the mastery of an art. And now he's reaping the benefits. He wasn't born into multi-million dollar movie contracts. He was born with potential, and so were you. There's a great quote that getting what you want is simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. When you combine belief with the persistent action to back it up, those two things will take you anywhere in the world. That's why the words I can't are so toxic so debilitating. Next time that comes to mind, ask yourself, why? Not figuratively or hypothetically, literally ask yourself why you can't do what you want to do. If you want to win, you need to see yourself as a winner. You need to associate with winning. No champion ever got there accidentally. They knew they belonged with the best. So before another minute goes by, ask yourself whether you do. Because that simple acknowledgement opens the door to infinite possibilities.